Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and today's video is gonna be about how you can edit the family sharing feature on your iPads. I have to be honest with you, I'm not the perfect mom. I try to be the best I can for my children but sometimes I need a little bit of help and because we don't have any family here and because of the pandemic and everything it's been very hectic and actually if you're a mom like me and you are still trying to keep calm please make sure to watch this video I give you some chat about this and hopefully it helps you to, to keep relaxed and calm. During this pandemic, the only thing that has been helpful for us has been the iPads and they work as a nanny for us. Sometimes while I'm cooking or doing some chores on uh, here at home or just picking up some toys or cleaning here, sometimes I need a little bit of help and I, and I need a little bit of quietness and the, the iPads have been very helpful at times. But sometimes there are some settings that need to be set up on them so they are really safe for your kids to be using them. My oldest daughter knows how to use it. She knows which page or slide on the iPad she can use. Also, she knows which apps are proper for her to use, games, videos, and all of that. However, my youngest, he's still very young, he's still learning how to use the iPad, but he likes to really go into whatever he's touching. So he will try to explore all the buttons on the iPad and all the applications. He has been going through the photos he even purchased a movie from my Amazon Prime app. I don't know how he did it, but I have to fix that as well and just make some more locking settings there on my Amazon Prime. But what I want to tell you today is how you can edit those settings so your devices are ready for your children to use. So today I'm gonna tell you how you can do that and how you can keep your iPad safe and ready to use for your children. So let's get started. Right now I'm gonna be showing you how are my settings for my iPad. We have the iOS 9.3.5 in a iPad mini and what I'm gonna do is go to do not disturb on Do Not Disturb, I'm scheduling from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., which are mostly the schedule that my children have. Also, I am setting allow calls from no one and uh, saying the repeated calls I am when enabled a second FaceTime call from the same person within three, three minutes will not be silence and then silence I will set it up as always when the iPad is locked so they will be able to call to someone but not to receive any calls then I will go to general and if I go to general I'm gonna go to uh, restrictions okay I'm gonna enable the restrictions now right now as you can see there are no restrictions everything is enabled so I'm gonna go ahead and click on enable restrictions and it ask you it is asking me to set a passcode so I'm gonna do that now and I don't want my kids to access Safari 
they can access the camera and, and Siri and the FaceTime, AirDrop, iTunes Store, they, I don't want them to be buying anything, nor install an app, nor deli deleting apps or in-app purchases. And then allowed content, ratings for music post podcasts, allow playback music videos, podcasts, and then explain because it no. And then movies, I will say only until this. And then TV shows. Uh, they usually don't watch any movies or TV shows here, only YouTube, so I will just do this. And then apps. On apps, you can select which apps are rated for above four years old. So I'm gonna y go ahead with this one only. And then on Siri, explicit language web search content. We'll go password settings. Purchase and in app purchase always require. Pre downloads require password. Contacts. No, no, I don't want them to use Skype. Allow changes. Don't allow changes. Calendars. Don't allow changes. Reminders. Don't allow changes. Photos. Allow changes, don't allow changes. I don't want them to delete anything. Share my location, Bluetooth sharing, microphone, Twitter, Facebook, they, they don't access. They, I don't have Facebook or Twitter or any social network installed in the iPad. Accounts, don't allow changes. Mm. Volume limit. Yes, I need this. I don't allow changes. Multiplayer games. Add friends. No, no. Mm. Okay, let's j just don't do this. Okay. So now let's see how it looks like after this. Okay, let's say I want to download an, um, a new app. I don't have access to download to the apps. Okay, as you can see now, we don't have Safari anymore. We don't have Safari. If you try to look for it, see. I'm gonna try. If I look for Safari, it doesn't appear. I just it just found an email. I don't have the installation of apps anymore. I actually did a test here. If I want to access Safari from here, I go to settings. And it says you are now leaving YouTube Kids open in a browser. It says, and I said, Yes, it won't do anything, which is good. I hope this video was useful for you and if you like this video please don't forget to click on the like button and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and see you the next time.